Welcome to Old Mayor Show. I'm old. Oh, Mayors. Guess what today is? A bad day for me. National Mole Day, October 23rd. Get the fuck out of here. It is. It's an actual thing. Look it up. Google that shit. Well, we should get my like, day. We should get like a million views because of that. Absolutely. And we got four games to do that aren't going to get a million views. No, they will not. Fair warning. Games this week are not good. No, we had to pick these because all of the other spreads are so friggin' high that... It's not good. And these aren't that low. No, so they're not. So this is a week, if you can get four, I think you're going to get some good odds. First game we're going to do... Dallas traveling to Detroit, four and three versus four and three. Dallas seventeen to three against the Eagles. I think that screwed a lot of fantasy people. Over. A lot. Everybody said the over in that game. That did not happen. Nick Folds. Yeah. Oh, well, good one. Like oh, good. So Lord. Dallas is. This is their second away game in a row. Tough away matchups. Tough road matchups. Detroit. This is their second home game in a row. They just lost last week. They need to win this week to keep pace with both uh, our Green Bay. Green Bay. So I think Detroit's actually going to cover this game. I, I still think Dallas is a is a mediocre eight and eight team. So I think Detroit wins this game, which is isn't this this is like the battle of the Thanksgiving teams, by the way. Yeah. It is. Um, so I'll take Detroit minus the three in the game. I got to go with Dallas to lose this game because it's on the road. It seems like you got two different teams. Yeah. I mean that that seventeen to three game. If Michael Vick's healthy like he was at the beginning of the year, they get blown out. They did nothing on offense. That was awful. And Detroit lost in the, in the, at the end of the game. I Again, I have no idea who Detroit is. Yeah. I have no idea what they they bring to the table. You got Megatron, Reggie Bush. I thought he was out of the league six years ago. Uh, Megatron's hurt all the time. I don't even know his name anymore because they don't refer to him as his name. <laughs> like Mole Day, it's become Megatron. That'll be another day. Uh, but I got to take Detroit to win this at home because I think Dallas is weak on the road. Nice. Game two we're going to do in week eight. The Jets travel into Cincinnati. We have the Jets with a winning record of 4-3. and three. After a win last week against the Patriots, controversial as they may say, they still beat them. And I don't, I don't want to hear that the, the, the breaking the rules with the Patriots is an issue. I'm getting past, I'm, I'm past that. They're 4-3, and three, Cincinnati 5-2. and two. Cincinnati showed me that they have a, a fairly good defense. They didn't really hold Megatron down, but they still have a pretty good defense. The Jets... Played at home against the Patriots. There's no way they're going to Cincinnati after coming off that emotional win and beating Cincinnati in Cincinnati. I will take the Jets to cover the six and a half, but I think Cincinnati wins. Six and a half is a big line for the NFL. I don't know where the Jets stand right now. It seems like they might get some momentum. They don't seem to me like an elite team. Cincinnati's trying to be an elite team, but week to week you don't know what you're seeing. You win on a final play, uh, final play of the game a couple times against the uh, two weeks in a row, Buffalo and yeah, uh, Detroit. Sure. So uh, I'll have to go with the home team on this one again. I think I'm just going to side with you on this one and say it's going to be closer than six and a half because the Jets' defense tends to keep them close. Nice. This is how bad the games are this week. This is how bad the games have been this year. This is not the first time that we've covered Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> Three and four traveling is the only undefeated team left in the NFL. Kansas City. Amazing. <laughs> but it's not, yeah. What do you got going on here? So Cleveland announced today that uh, they are going to start Jason Campbell at quarterback. Oh, God. Over Brandon Whedon. And because of that, and because I don't think Kansas City can get to 8-0, I'm going to say Cleveland wins outright. This is my upset special of the week. So I'll take 7.5 points all day long because Cleveland's going into Arrowhead Stadium and winning that game. You're out of your fucking mind. I'm telling you. Jason Campbell? Yes. Jesus Christ, JC. Dude, he's the savior. Yeah, no. Yes. Um, he wouldn't have taken them seven weeks to play, eight weeks to play a game when they've gone through five quarterbacks before this. The guy was a starting quarterback in two different places. Him and Josh Freeman should just throw footballs off each other's faces, and they'll be safe. Like, if that's the game, you're not going to hit each other. It's just going to be whizzing by your ears if it's not ten feet over your head. No way. Cleveland goes in and wins this game, but the only thing is Kansas City doesn't play to blow people out. And that's seven true. and a half is big. And I think it's going to fall at seven. I, I think I'm going to call it at seven. Ooh. Cleveland or Kansas City wins by seven, so I got to take the seven and a half. Ah. This is an entertaining game that we're going to do, and it involves a one in sixteen. <laughs> a one in sixteen. New York Giants traveling to Philadelphia. New York Giants participated in one of the worst football games I've ever seen in the history of my life against Minnesota on Monday night. That was, was just not a professional product on the <laughs> on the field. Philadelphia <laughs> favored by six. <laughs> I just saw that. It's Are you unbelievable. Me? So, Are you kidding me? No fucking way. The Giants have a win. 
So they're off the schneid. Yeah. Philly sure looked did. horrible with the combination of oh. Foles and Barkley. <laughs> Luckily, Vic is coming back. I think he's going to play. That's what I'm hearing from the sources out there. So if Vic plays, I think Philly wins this game easily. Uh, I think they cover the six against the Giants. Who knows, though, because the Giants brought out Peyton Hillis from, I guess, retirement. I don't even know where that guy was for the past year. He was stuck inside the Madden cover. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll take Philadelphia minus the six. I don't know why, but I'll do it. This week I did something. I calculated my high school QBR. Nice. And it was 7.8. Ooh, that's I won one game and I was a participant in a tie even though I got knocked the fuck out at the end of it and I didn't finish it. I would have done better than Josh Freeman and I think I could play quarterback better than Nick Foles did last week <laughs> for those two teams. That's how pathetic those two performances were. They were good. I can throw a ball 10 feet over anybody's head. I, and he, it comes out he's got a concussion today. It's like, no, no, he doesn't. You just don't want to say that he's not starting. Different game. This game, I can't even tell you what's going to happen. If Michael Vick plays and he's healthy, the Giants can't beat anybody. If it weren't for a fumbled punt and a drop pick six, Minnesota beats the Giants. <laughs> the same guy dropped a pick six, and on the next play on fourth down, the fumbles the ball without being touched, which I think that rule's got to go away. And then they get the ball in the two-yard line, and they celebrate like all hell when they punch it in from the two because the Giants are having 18% of their running plays are held for a loss. 18% of your running plays are held for a loss. If you have, as a defensive lineman, five tackles for the year for a loss on a running play, you're like in the top ten. Yes. It's incredible how fucking bad they are. The defense isn't good. Philadelphia has to be better than the Giants. The Giants might not win three games this year. And for the people out there saying, like, you know they're going to get hot. You know they're going to get hot. You know they're going to get hot. Take a fucking look at what they got. They got a 250-pound, out of retirement, white running back with a retarded-looking Eli Manning who can't hit the broad side of a fucking barn. But we ignore that because we want to say just Romo sucks. And they, their defense can't rush the quarterback. They got five sacks for the year. Five, their last in the league in sacks. I agree with every one of your points. JPP. Now it's time for comments of the week. My favorite part. Coco the man. He's one back. Of our big ones. He's back. Everybody leaving suggestions? Well, here's mine. Shorten this show up as much as possible because you Guido suck, suck, suck. Mole lives, likes hard cock, Mir scratches his ass and smells his fingers. We should shorten it up. We are not Guidos. We are in no way Italian. Are oh, you? I'm Italian, but I'm, I'm only not, like half Italian. I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm not even a one drop rule Italian. And when I do scratch my ass, I don't smell my fingers, so I don't appreciate that. Yeah, the hard cock thing, that's just over oh, time. Oh, we know you like that. That's over time. FSX, FSX Pro 84. Bengal is not the fast guy, you idiot, LOL. So, do you know what a Bengal is? I figured it out. After I, this I comment, I, I That's Googled, what I said last week. I Googled it. A Bengal is a fucking house cat. Bullshit. I swear to God. That big? It's not but like in fucking India. No, it's only like this fucking big. A Bengal's like the thing no. from out of Africa. No, it's not. To I thought it was too. What was it's that Eddie Murphy movie? The, the deal with it's the deal? It's not a Bengal. Where he came from A Bengal's a fucking house cat. Well, then we were wrong. And, and, and the house cat won. <laughs> so the house cat beat the line. So my theory was wrong. I should have flipped my keys and gone with it. Gavin O'Connor. I did that. Uh, actually, Brown Show. Brown Show 2 T2. That's a tough one to say. You guys are going to go 2-2 two and two this week. Bengals win straight up and Cowboys are going to take it also. You guys need to watch the previous games of the picks at least. I don't know what that meant, but I was going to give him a shout out because he, he, he won. He got both of those right. And we didn't. We were 1-3. We were 1-3. Gavin O'Connor. That's just his fucking name. Yeah. That's his name. I'm taking advice from a guy who flips his keys for a pick and doesn't know what a fucking house cat is. And didn't win, so it doesn't matter. 1-3. One 1-3. And three. One and three. I want four. I mean, that's why I go off when I go four now. Frost5711. If the Colts can win, I will win my office pool. Fuck face, homo romo, make, made it closer than I like. And the fucking Washington Warriors, or whatever their <laughs> new name is, give me a shout out and I will make three PPL subscribe. So we gave this shout out. Three people subscribed. I guess you won your office pool because the Colts won. That was incredible. Well, I don't know how. And how they're not involved in a game. Well, they got, they got to buy this week, yes, right? That's correct. But Denver's not involved in a game that's better than this shit. I mean, no, they're it's, not. it's incredible. They're playing the Redskins. It's incredible. What a league. So that's our show for week eight. Eight. 
comments have been good. They yeah, stepped up. We got a lot coming. of people coming back. Uh, we do the likes. We do yeah, this. Likes, we do all the stuff. Comments, you know, you know what the deal is by this point. If you're a new viewer, go back to our old views, our old videos, to find out what to do. We're and watch like, all the way through because that would be awesome for we're us. We're only like ten subscribers away from six hundred. Ten away from six hundred. So if you're new and you haven't subscribed, please do that so we can get us to six hundred level. If we get to six hundred, we might uh, do nothing. Happy Mold Day.